Hey, namaste, bitches. It's Teresa Judas, and I'm here with my God. It's like, wait, why does it feel so? I, I was like, whoa, my face. What's happening? <laughs> Are we that up close? Hold on. No, it did look different. You and I both. Oh my God, both of us. Whoa. Were like, okay, is that better? That's amazing. All right. Okay. Hey, like, namaste. Not working. All right. Hey, namaste, bitches. It's Teresa Judas, and I'm here with my co-host Melissa Feaster. Why do I keep getting out of, oh, hold on. <laughs> I'm not editing this out either, by the way, guys. Just <laughs> hold on. My it boobs are so shaking, okay. my That's big boob. Right, oh my God, my stomach bitches. is just Look, I have my burgundy on one on today. I know, it looks, I was going to say, look, with your lipstick. Yeah, well, oh I God. put this lipstick on, I, I saw the lip liner, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> How do you wear hats? Why do you look good and I look like an idiot? Well, you got, your head's smaller than mine, Melissa. That's why. But it looks good. It looks good. You know what? You, the flex are new. We got the new ones. The flex ones are the best. That's is oh, that this the, is an old one. Is that the old hat. Yeah, yeah, you need the flex one, and you might need yeah. an extra small, extra small size if they yeah, come. I need in. extra small for my head, and I need extra large for this, and extra large for this. I know. Stand, stand up. Show everybody your belly. Oh, you guys, she just a, showed me. It's so look cute. Oh, look at Josh's boxers. Look at this. Oh, I love it. Oh my god, adorable. Oh my God, you're so tiny. God bless you. You. Like it is. <sighs> Teresa, so I literally, I, I'm four and a half months-ish, It whatever. I was literally this weight and this belly size at birth, at the birth of both of my other kids. Oh, wow. So this baby's it's, bigger. But like, I guess like everything moves fat, your boobs get bigger your belly gets bigger. did you oh get, yeah like, every baby i popped out quicker each one yes no but like your third one did your like stomach get bigger quicker did oh, oh yes yeah that's what i say pops out quicker yes yes oh yeah oh i think yeah yeah out yeah that. no everything got yeah popped out quicker yes i'm like what i and, wasn't and, and, but the only thing with me i kept weighing lesser and lesser and lesser with each kid what? I weighed How? I weighed the most with Gia. Cause yeah, I weighed the most with Gia. I don't know. I gained a lot of weight with Gia. And then each kid I weighed less and less and less. I don't know why. Cause I guess then with Gia, I ate everything. Cause oh, like, you were eating. Italians said that if you see something, you need to eat it. Otherwise <laughs> your baby's gonna have a birthmark. Yeah, I was so yeah, that's what they what? said. What? Like if you saw something and you and you didn't eat it and you touched yourself somewhere you would get a birthmark wherever you touched yourself. Yeah, like if you didn't eat it. You know how people have like strawberries? Like if yeah. they want a strawberry and they see a strawberry. On, like, yeah, some people have any, if you see a, straw, a red mark on somebody's, that means they were craving strawberries. That's what Italian people say. So like if you see an eggplant, you want it, but you don't eat it. And then you touch your vagina, you have an eggplant on your vag? Or somewhere, yes, wherever you touch yourself. That's what Italians say. So they freaked me out, my parents. So anything I saw, I would eat. So I, I weighed the most with Gia. And then every other kid, I weighed less and less and less. Yeah. Okay. So do you still, like, can you go look at something and be like, oh, man, banana. I want you. I yeah, want you. Now I'm not pregnant, you. so it doesn't matter. Oh, it's only during pregnancy. Only when you're pregnant. Yeah. Only when ah. you're pregnant, it causes birthmarks. If you don't, if you see and you don't eat it and you, t wherever you touch yourself, that's where you get the birthmark. So then did you, did that happen after the other ones? I just never, I mean, I mean, my kids have some birthmarks, but I don't remember what, you know, like, yeah, like I don't, yeah, I don't know. Like, right, like I have right here, I think a coffee mark. Let's see. Where is it? That's your butt. No, I know. Wait, do, do, do I have a, a mark right there? No, <laughs> it's maybe on this side. Oh, right there. It's, I have a birthmark right there, right? I can't even see. You're not in shot. Right there. It's like a little dark. That's your ass. That's called your butt crack. Oh, no, right here. Right here. It's a darker. <laughs> see, so anyway, they said, like my mother said that was coffee or something. Like coffee, like she wanted coffee and she couldn't have it at that moment. She touched herself, so she got a birth. So I have a birthmark there. She touched herself right there, and that's where my birthmark is, right there. Get it? That is absolutely. You should go and look at all the kids' birthmarks now, and, and see wherever I'm at. See if it's like a banana or a hot dog or. A, I, like that's a, what Italians say. So we have all these. I know we have all these like like things that old old 
fashion traditions or not even what well, I want to call them. Oh, what would you call them? Like myths? Like what would you call Superstitions. Superstitions that Italian. Yeah. That, uh, there's a lot that Italians say. Yeah. What's another one when you're knocked up? When you're knocked. What do you mean? Um, like when you're pregnant. No, nothing. I mean, th- th- it's about the food. Like make sure anything you see, you have to eat. That's really well, so important. You ate less though during your other pregnancy. Yeah. And, and then I just, I, I wait. Cause with Gabriella, I did yoga. Isn't it? Wait, let me just tell you something. Yeah. This is a good conversation to have. Like about like with Gabriella, I did yoga and she's my, she's so calm. Like Gabriella wow. is like, she's like, oh my God, she has a fresher breath there. She, I mean, she really like is. Namaste so. Buddha. Yeah. She's so namaste Gabriella. Like she ne- like she d- doesn't raise her voice, like always talks calmly. And I did yoga with her. I was very namaste with, with Gabriella. Then so, I had Melania. Melania. I had Melania when I got pregnant with Gabriella and I was eight months old. And that was like having twins. Cause yeah, Melissa, yeah. when Gabriella, when, when Melania was born, Gabriella was 16 months old. So it's like, I, it's like I had twins. Yeah. And I didn't totally. want that. Like, you know, that was Joe. He didn't listen to me. And, um, I got pregnant with, with Melania. I remember we were both tipsy. So I, I got pregnant when I was tipsy. I didn't know. And it was in Dominican Republic. That was the one on the beach. Yes. 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 Beach, so I beach remember bum. she's my only kid that I remember when I got pregnant with because I wanted to wait and and that was like the only time, you know, he, he, you know, what? And, and that's when I, I knew I got pregnant that night. I know, I know that's still, that was the night it happened. Maybe that's why Melania is like a crazy bitch. Yeah. You boned, <laughs> you boned on the beach. She's a crazy bitch. Get yeah. It? And we were both lit. Joe and I were both lit. I told Melania. Crazy. That. I just said that to her the other day. I'm like, you know, when I, when I, I knew, I remember the exact day I got pregnant with you, me and your father were lit, you know, we were in Punta Cana. And she, cause you know, she was just saying she wants to go there this summer with her friends for like a, like a vacation. And I was it's like, Oh my God, world. that's where I had you. And me, baby. Yeah. And I know. And then I said to her, I said, that's where I got pregnant with you. And she's like, I know, you know, she knows she's the only kid I know when I exactly when I got pregnant. And then with Adriana, again, she's so calm because I had her later on. Like yeah. I had her like Gia and Gabrielle are three years and nine months and Melania and Adriana or three years and nine months. So I feel like you, when you have that, it's like, you're going to be calm. I think with this baby, because um, Vivi's what, what? Five, five. Yeah. So you have time. So now what is you, calm you about get, this? you get to, enjoy, I know it's tough right now. Cause, but you get to enjoy the baby by yourself. Like the yeah, kids will be no. in school and, totally. you, and you'll have that time to do that. Like, you know, and it'll be so good. Like you'll have that time. Yeah. You know what? Honestly, too, that's another thing. Cause it was like after Vivian, I was like, I want another one, but COVID hit. And I was like, I can't do it. I'm a germ freak. I, like, we don't even know if we can get toilet paper. I'm not delivering a baby in a hospital. And like COVID is that like, I just, but you know, it's always an excuse. Right. And then all of a sudden you're like five years. Where yeah, the but it wasn't going to gonna happen. It wasn't going to happen that quick anyway. I mean, I mean, I mean, no, meaning it wasn't going to, COVID wasn't going to last forever. So why do you Yeah, think- but it lasted for a while. So I was like, no, no, no. No, but no. that's just, you thought, you thought COVID was going to last for a long time? I didn't, I knew. No, it was- but it, it was a few, it was a, a long, like to be like, let's do this. Let's try every month. I was like, no, we're not like, we're not, I'm not doing this right now. I'm not, we're trying to take care of our parents that are sick. There's COVID. Like I'm not trying to get pregnant and all this stuff, but it was just like excuses, right? Excuses. Well, and, the, like, and the only, did you get pregnant easily with the first two? No. Remember Logan, it was like, they said, you're never getting pregnant naturally. Oh, right. And then you had, what, you did IVF? I did four IUIs. I did two rounds of IVF, kept getting pregnant, pregnant, not pregnant, pregnant, not pregnant. And wow, after the hard. second round of IVF. I got pregnant again. Oh, and, and then, then Vivi, you did by herself in Hawaii. Yeah. I got pregnant on the second round of IVF. I was like, we got low. We got her. And then lost it. And then that's when we went to Hawaii. And then back that's what happened. Naturally it's with like, Logan. Yeah, you got to be calm. That's totally. what you, you have to be so – I mean, that's what they say. It's so crazy. I know. And then yeah, Vivi was that. like, I said sex. And, and then this baby's Hawaii too. Hawaii. What? It, yeah. It, 
it's Hawaii. I mean, well, that's like insane. that's your vacation spot, so you're always there. That's our jam. I, well, and that's the only place that I have sex with Josh, so it has to be Hawaii. Yeah, you're such a liar. <laughs> you're a freak in the sheets. So oh my god, this is so bright. And I put this lipstick on. It looks it's like good. So it looks good. No, but I was oh, thinking so about that. I was like, you know, there's a big gap between the kids, and I was worried about that because Logan's going to be Logan six, Vivi's five. No, it's. I, I mean, listen, like, it's the way it was supposed to happen. You can't. What's the age gap between Milani or Adriana and Gia? Um, like Gia's twenty three. Gia's twenty three, and Adriana's fourteen. Oh, so yeah. And this weekend they were both in California with us and they hung out like they hung out like and Adriana, because she's the baby, she's so mature for her age. Yeah. Yeah, So Gia and Adriana were hanging out the whole time. I know you got. Yeah. So you guys, sorry, we were taking a little break for spring break because my kids had spring break. It was Easter break. So that's why we didn't have an episode last week. And Teresa freaking gets here and I bounced to our place in Park I City. Know. <laughs> so we took a break me. off for Easter. Yes. And you know, I like doing that. Let's, you know, we don't have to make ourselves crazy. You know, you, listen, you're going to be, a, you know, you're going to have your third baby. So exciting. So let's not, not for make, a while, baby. No, I know. But my thing is, we don't like, listen, if, if we have breaks, we enjoy it with our family. It's going and, on. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And then we come back, you know, like it's better. Like we don't have to like, you know, th- people could wait one week, you know? Yeah. And no. it's all good. And, well, and, I, and and it was just like logistics. It was hard. Like you're traveling, you're over here, you having to bring the mic, the computer. My kids have spring break. We're like, let's get out of LA. Let's bounce out. We haven't been back to the s- slopes and skiing since like Christmas. So we bounce up there. So it's just like I'm running with them. You're running all over here. Yeah, I mean, we are in different parts of our, you know, like in different stages in our lives. You know, we are because you still have the little babies. My babies are grown. So we are, you know, like, you know, moving in different directions. Um, Wait a minute. So you don't do what I do because last night Logan's butt hurt so badly because he was like pooping a ton, I guess. Oh, my that, God. Like, you know, I had to get the aquaphor and like the desert and like wiping on his butt crack. You don't, you mean you're not doing that with your girls? Yeah, then? no, none of that. No, I'm like really actually hanging out with my girls, going out to dinner. Yeah, we went to like, um, we went to, we, where did we, we went to the like great restaurants in California. We went to um, Delilah's. Oh, yeah. you like that place. Yeah, we went yeah, to Delilah's yeah. one night, and then we went to Catch another night. Catch. Oh, how was then, that? Um, huh? How was that? Um, it was it was okay. I was like, you know, I was like, you know, I don't need to keep going to Catch. Like, I'd rather try different places. Oh, and then we went to Craig's. You know, Craig's. We, you and Your me. Jam. I yeah. love Craig's. Like, Catch was like it was all right. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't, I'm like. I don't know. I can- you love Craig's because it's like the scene or do you like his, the food or both? both? Both. Both. I like, yeah, I like, I like both. Yeah. I like it. I don't know. I, yeah. I, we always go to Craig's. I like Craig's. Yeah. So-, so you had that, you were here and then you had Louis's big event. Yes. Like, yeah. Um, for Venivia. Um, I know you, I'm sorry. You couldn't make it, but it's all no. good, you know? Um, but yeah, listen, when you like, you know, each pregnancy is different. I mean, this one has been, Teresa, this one, I, t- I mean, I've told you a hundred times, but like, A, to go to Park City, high altitude. High altitude is a lot for most people. I literally did not get off the couch for like five, six weeks. To then go from like zero to a hundred in high altitude, walking, trying to take care of the kids. Like it, abs- every night I was like done. And then I came back here, going through the airport, just like the fly, everything. I was just... No, I was well, yeah, it's tight. You put a lot on your body. That's what you got. Uh, you got to just listen to your body and take it easy. I mean, me yeah, too. When I first got to LA with the time difference, I don't know why Europe doesn't do it to me, but California kicks my ass. That three hours makes yeah. a difference. It really does. And I have to say, I'm looking at your skin. You're glowing. Me? Yes. You're glowing. Yeah. I'm trying to hide yeah, it because I feel like I'm not. Yeah. No, you're glowing. Really? Um, Thank you. Yeah, it's you're a lighting, yeah, and it's the filter. Pat, okay. put a filter on. Uh, so I want, yeah, I want to tell you about like Louis' new um, 
new venture. Yes. He's, um, yeah. So he's a significant partner in Venivia. Everyone should download the app and it gives like influencers out there around the world to go live and make money from doing it. So like, could you do it? Could we be like, yo, let's tap in right now and then go live? Yes. So with the pod? We, we are going to be doing it. Yes. And then do they get like our podcast? Like we're, you know, you, we try to get sponsors and ads. Do yes. you, is that the same there? Yes. Oh my. I'm going to have, um, yeah, I'm going to have like Louie talk to our producer and um, figure out how to get it going. Yeah. How to get like, yes, exactly. Yes. So we could, they could be seeing us in Thailand right now. Yeah. So yes, it's a live streaming platform all over the world. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. So yeah, so mean, we had our launch event. It went so great. It was and huge. Yeah, it was huge. It was like they did. Yeah, it was incredible. So yeah, Gia Where was and it? Adriana. It was California. It was right by LAX. Oh, it was down there. Yeah, it was right by LAX. Yep. Oh, it's no huge way. Venue. Yeah, it was it, it was beautiful. Yeah. Look, I'm it's just I, you know, we the the oh my god, Park City. No, listen. And you were you were with your family. I have to say this week was a, a hard week cuz it was Easter week. Yeah, I know. But we worked out with the um, you know, we were working out with certain celebrities that could only do it this week. But it ended up being a hard week. It was a little bit of a hard week because it was yeah. everybody was on break with their kids. Everyone's all over the place. I know. But you know what? We're going to have another event in the fall in New York. But I have to say this was so successful. It was amazing. You know, you know, very happy with it. Yeah. So, and that's it. So you might get your wish. Um, I will be coming out to LA a lot more with my husband because he has to be out there a lot. So, yeah. So you see how life works? Yes. Okay, wait a minute. Back to train up. Because you know I like to ask questions. So, it, because I was going to say, Louis seems to be coming out to LA a lot. Is it because the company is based here? Yes. Well, you know, the, oh. yeah, his partners are from, yeah, from Switzerland. And um, yeah, now they all moved to LA. That's where they're running. Yeah, because that, that's where all the influ a lot of the influencers are from LA. Yes. So you know, that's where the action must, is. Hollywood, Beverly Hills. Yeah. It's all, it's they all must want Louie, though, to be out here a lot. Well, he's, yeah, he's scaling the business. You know, he knows how to scale businesses. Yeah. So, yeah, he's, you know, he's he, he's amazing at what he does. And, yeah, and they love him. Yeah. So it's, it's a, you know, he's great. He's great at it. Yeah. Like, I'm like, babe. I love what you do. It turns me on even more. I'm like, you turn me on enough. And then by you, like, I love that. Like, I love a, like a guy, like it's, uh, yeah. It's Handles like his business. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. it's all good. Oh, no, yeah. I, listen, I get it. That's why I, like, I look at Josh and I'm like, dude, I mean, this guy was literally sleeping on floors of friends, houses and apartments because he didn't have shit. He oh. grew up with nothing. He had nothing. He was pushing mail carts at WME when he first started getting people coffee. Like he was the coffee bitch oh, and the mail cart bitch. Awesome. Yeah, I love that. I mean, Louis too, he, he, he's a he's self-made guy and I love that. And yeah, so it's awesome. Yeah. Listen, and that yeah. was the thing, like, you know, God, God's good. Like God takes care of good people. So yeah, he does. That's why you just got it. Sometimes you just got to wait for things to come to you and, it all happens. It all works out yeah. the way it's supposed to. Sometimes it takes a little while, yeah. you know, because I'm like, really, God? You know, we have a lot of conversations, you know, recently, you know, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> but it's it's all good, you know? Yeah, because Patience and I aren't friends. Like, Patience can kiss my ass. Me too. Me too. I, I get can't. The, you know, trust me. I get it. I get it. I, 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 like, I already am like, dude, I'm only for, like, come on, baby. Like, let's go. Let's just I, get yeah. it. Out. No, let's but go. I have to say, like, even... Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I was just, you made me like, see how my head bounces from one thing to another. <laughs> no, and I did house of villains. You're keeping me patient. No, cause what house of villains was like, I'm like, I don't know if I could do this. You and can't then, say that. And then I put what? Oh yeah. People know I you're on about house of villains. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. I was just trying. I was just, I was just checking you. Yeah. So I can talk okay. about, yes. Yeah, so I can't talk about Bravo housewives cause the show is coming out soon. You were restricted. We're on gag orders. So that's Soon. why it's, yes, we're run, which is fine. Cause I don't want to talk about them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, wait till the season comes out and it will say it all. So, 
But House of Villains, you can't talk that much. No, I can't talk. We, we, you know, I can't talk about that. But, um, but that was amazing. Um, yeah, I can't wait for everyone to see that. And, um, yeah, I think everyone's gonna see um, the different side of Teresa, and which I'm so excited about. So I can't wait for everyone to see that. But in the beginning, it was rough. I was like, oh my god, you know, <laughs> it because was rough. You're away from the family, or because of the people, or everything. Oh yeah, yeah, you're away from your family, but it was good. Like meaning, like patience. It, in the beginning, it was like I don't want to give it away. Like you have to say it. So I yeah, patience. I can't give it away. I hate. And you know when when someone says Melissa. Just be patient. I literally want to shove my fist. But you know what? I have to say with age, I I have gotten more patience. Like in being with Louie, he's more calmer. So I feel yeah. like I do have more patience now, you know? So I'm glad. Listen, as long as one of us does. Yeah. Then we just <laughs> yes. We, but with all the trips that Louie is making and you're coming, it's yeah, like I'm coming. Coachella. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm going to Coachella this week and I'm leaving Friday. What? Yeah, I'm leaving Friday morning, coming back to LA. Yes, we're going to Coachella. Well, how did that have come up? Come about? Um, Benivia. Yes, we're going. Yes, we're going. With the company. Yes. Because you're having like an event there or you're talking to influence. What do you Yeah, yeah. My, well, I'm, my husband has to be out there, so I'm going with them. Isn't that Oh, great? that'll be yes. so, so I'm going that'll with them. Yeah. So I'm excited. Trip, all, these, all these trips out of LA, hotels start adding up. Are you like, is this like we're just staying in hotels every time? I mean, yeah. So I think we might be, we might be, you know, getting a place out there. Yes. Like, yes. like condo, house, like, like, well, yeah, we were bizarre. thinking about apartment because apartment um, building because. Yeah. We don't want to take care of another house. No. But listen, we came back. I mean, you know, Gabriella was home. It was so nice. And then Melania got home because Melania was away with her friend. But we came back. Melania's shower is not her. I mean, well, we're not even living here that long. We we did. We gutted the whole house. Yeah. Um, her shower. Matter. Her shower. The, it got. We need. She's a new shower head and a new because we have hard water, and it's like. Um, do, could you imagine? I'm like, frozen? huh? It got ro- it, it got roaded. It got like ro- Yeah, like eaten out. Oh. Like the the heart. The water's hard, so it, it, we need a new faucet, like a new shower faucet. And like See, it's always something. And we the use house. Vince the Builder. Like our like faucets and everything in this house was not cheap. And like, yeah, isn't it crazy? Because of the water, we have hard water here. Because it's always you do not. So want it's a like house. yeah. It's like we're always. If there's with the house there's so much always something to do so it's like we don't want another house yeah no an apartment a condo or an apartment complex you pull up yes park we go up they take care of your shit they some have gyms it's like yes you don't want to have to worry about like maintenance of the yard and maintenance of the house and like i, I mean it's especially if you're not here all the time and then yeah. like making sure security and it's safe and no one breaks in. Like it, it there's so much. You guys yeah. I love that. You don't have to worry about any of that. Yeah. I love yeah, that I, I have a lot of friends in Bel Air and their houses got broken into in Bel Air. I was like, what? Got it. Yeah. It's, like, it it's like, I don't, you know, it's like, I, that's scary to hear, you know? Dude, you know what I did? So we had like an incident with a nanny, like our first nanny ever. And it sent me like crazy because she, it was like, oh, yeah, you just told me. Yeah. Yeah. Like a huge violation of like trust and like everything. And so I was like, oh my God, this is my first kid. Second kid is a baby. And I went nuts. We got this film. Of course, we got a million security cameras, but like the, like, like the jury, if they hit your glass, what's an alarm going to do? No, you're right. Those are attached to doors. Yeah. So we got this film. We found this company that they put a film on the uh-huh. inside and outside of your window. And it's like shatterproof. That's beautiful. Yeah. And now yeah. I'm like, in this house, we had it done in this, like all the floor, the kids stuff downstairs. Like you take a bath to it. You take all this stuff and it is. Oh, that's inside. good. Yeah. No, it's yeah. good. Now, listen, after my car got stolen, we, we upped our security too. We have a security guard outside. Like, yeah, that could, no joke. Did you ever freaking find that car, by the way? Never found that car. Oh. Yeah. 
Never found that card. So someone made some moolah off of that. Yeah. Yeah. It was oh bad. My God. Yeah. See, it's like, look, it doesn't matter. Gated, not gated, like security cam you still had security cameras before they broke in. I mean, it's like it's sh- the world the world is like nuts. Speaking of nuts, we yeah. had our break. Yes. We had our break, right? I'm in the mountains. I'm like freezing my balls off and I'm like showing my belly. I'm like, I saw it. that. I saw yeah. that. Yeah. And it was just like, ah, oh, like I'm not on social. I'm not doing shit. I'm taking a break. And then you come back here and it's like, and well, it's been reality. going on, Melissa. You know that it's been going know, on. But it's nice to pretend like it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's been going on. And now, you know, anybody that's attached to me, unfortunately, your cherry has gotten popped. And I, you know, I hate to say it that way. Not a good way uh, yeah. I mean, you, your, your cherries popped and this is what happens. Anybody that's ever attached to me, like people want to hurt. Yeah. They try to hurt anybody that's attached to me. Like, um, they've done it to, you know, my, whatever you want to call Carrie Ann, my assistant slash manager yeah. slash, you know, one of my best friends, she was at my wedding. They've tried to cause problem between me and Carrie Ann. Um, me and my ex, you know, back, like they were saying he was cheating on me, me yes. and Louie. Now you and I, you know, it's like anybody in my life, even with people on the show, my other yeah. cast members, like me and Jacqueline, you know, of course me and like, I mean, me and Caroline, we were friends, everyone, like they cause problems with whoever I'm close to. So now, oh. you know, and now you see, and you, and you see it firsthand. So yeah, I mean, guys, we see, we know everything that's going on out there. We see you, we know who you are. We know you guys are hiding behind computers, you know, making your fake accounts. We see it all. We, we see right through you. We see it all. So, it and now I made Melissa aware of it. Melissa knows now. So you guys played your game for a little while, but just to let you know, we know what's going on. So stop your games and you're just wasting your time. Go live your happy life. If you're so happy in your life, go live your happy life and leave us alone. But it's, Melissa, they're not going to stop. Cause no, I was going to say like, unfortunately it's, 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 people are obsessed with me. They love like they, they want to, it's like they, I have these people that really are and now they're obsessed with Louie and I, both of us. And now with you and like, so you see how the, you know, the trial triangle intertwining and all that whole thing going on. Yeah. I mean, it, it, yeah, it's, listen, it's, it's all nuts regardless. And the thing is though, like you said, it social, social media is not getting any better ever. It's well, only that's going why to be worse. In one ear, out the other, if you don't like something that an account's saying, just block them, you know, block them. Listen, it's, it's crazy. Like, that's the thing. Cause you know, these people, you think they're one person, but they're hiding behind a computer and they're yeah. trying to be somebody else that, you know, that you think that they're this person, but they're this person, you know, we, we, we've talked yeah. about the whole thing and there it's also, you know, and yeah, it's a lot, a lot of that going on. So I can't wait for everyone to see the new season because they will see, you know, it'll be an eye opening for everyone. And I can't wait for everyone to see house of villains because everyone will get to see who the real Teresa is not the Teresa always defending herself because I'm always being attacked on my show. And it's sad. It's like, instead of people living their, you know, it, you know, authentic, happy lives it, that they claim they have and not trying to hurt other people's lives. Cause yeah. Liz, you see how I am. Like I, I I want to raise other women up. I'm all about women empowerment. Like, you know, I love pre- all my girlfriends looking great, beautiful, like being successful, everything. Look, and like, that's what it's all about. Like, you know, helping each other, lifting each other, not tearing each other down. There's a lot of women out there that, that like to tear other women down. So unfortunately, There's a lot of people you know, in general. And the thing is, it's on social media. It's on your show. Like I've said this a million times. Out of all the housewife franchises, you guys, your like actual franchise, I think is like the craziest. Like, yeah, it's so toxic, and that's the thing. Hate, and the like, toxicity. and that's the thing. And who knows how much it could keep going this way? Just because I it oh, can't. I heard Andy Cohen just put something out there. Yeah, I, th- I heard Andy about your show. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, like um, yeah, 
It was just sent to me. Um, Andy. Like a statement or what? I mean, it's premiering in what? Three yeah, weeks? Yeah. Like, he, um, oh my God. Yeah. A month? What was the thing that he put out there? Um, hold on. Yeah. He just put something out there, which I didn't. Oh yeah. Right here. Andy Cohen says the way Real Housewives of New Jersey was filmed this year with no interaction between, and he says three yeah. names, myself and two other names, which, you know, I'm not saying because, you know, I don't want to get you know, people can connect the dots. We can't, we can't talk about social media. I mean, we can't talk about, you know, our cast members, but this is something that Andy Cohen said, um, will not be sus sustainable for the future of the Royal Housewives in New Jersey. Yeah. Like, and, it, and, and I, of course I see that too, you know, and it's like, like the, Andy actually put that out and that's not a text. Oh, to yeah, you. That's like social media. oh yeah. I'm going to send it to you. Oh, you didn't see that. Well, it, it was sent to me. Happy, I'll send it to you, Melissa. Yeah. So just to, because like, look at, if, if you think about it, look at Beverly Hills, they all have something going on in their lives. Look, yeah. they, none of them, well, and if anything, people that try to tear each other down, they're no longer on the show anymore. Yeah. Right. And we're not going to talk about names or whatever, but that's what I mean. It's like you, um, you know, like you don't, you don't want to do that or put that like, lies and all this stuff. Well, out and, there, and like, you know, people, like you want to see, it's like, it's a fine line because listen, people come to Bravo and to housewife shows for entertainment and like an escape, but like if there's a fine line between entertainment and escape and like, okay, this is like some toxic dark shit. And now yeah, it's like and like much. no one, and, and you, you don't, you want to put out what you, you want to put out what you want to get back. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's why I always put out good energy out there. And like, I, like if, if someone's hurting me, I'm not going to do it back to them because I just, I just rather let it go. You know, at this point in my life, I just want to let it go because it's not worth my time. I'm really happy in my life and I don't care what anybody thinks of me or what I just, I keep living my life. I keep going ahead. I will not waste my time trying to hurt somebody else because I feel like whatever you're putting out there, you're going to get back. Yeah, for sure. So that's why, and that's why I, you know, just to let you know, and you kind of wanted a distaste. You're like, oh, I love, I would love to be a housewife. No, you do not want to be a housewife. I was like, listen, we're starting this together. Not on the housewives of New Jersey. Maybe yeah. Orange oh, Jersey. County, but then Orange County, I don't know. It seemed like I'm not on that show, but no, 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 no. I can that, tell you. That seemed a little are, toxic too. With, you know. They're all, they all have elements of that, but like you guys are like, it, I mean, and there's such a great, like obvious divide, which is clearly what Andy was talking about. I didn't see that thing that he put out there. I just sent it. But that's him. like, that's telling. I mean, I just saw funny. that. Yeah. I just saw that. Yeah. And it's like, because, and then first of all, yeah. Like look at Beverly Hills. Look, look, they all have something going on in their lives. Yeah. yeah and like, see how it moves forward. And like, that's what you want to show, you know, not like hurting people and like, like, like it's way too they oh, no. way too people see yeah. our season this year, yeah. It's gonna be very very telling, yeah, very telling. I can't yeah, wait for it to come out. I can't either because the trailer did did not do anything like justice. I feel like for you guys, like so now I'm like I feel well, like you know I what? Know listen, they you know it's all about you know they gotta sell it. I get it. Yeah. I mean, you're, you know, your husband, your husband's in the business. You get it. Yeah. But you know, but it, it's like, again, the, the people on social media are not two weeks ago. You guys were getting divorced two weeks ago, three right. weeks ago, four weeks ago. You were like having an affair with Dwayne Wade because you went on Jimmy Fallon. You guys were in a booth yeah. together. <laughs> and then you and Louie were getting divorced. So it's like, this shit is never going to, it's. Wait, it's I was like in LA and I went, I went like Louie was at work already. And then I went to go get, um, I went to Starbucks, then I went to get my nails done. I come out from getting my nails done. Oh yeah, I got my nails done. Look how pretty. Oh, right here. I got oh, it off in shape. They're like, they're like, um, it's it's called Tiger Eye. It's so pretty. I got it done in LA. Anyway, coffin shape. Coffin shape, yeah. So anyway, um, then I hit I see the paparazzi taking my picture. And I was just like, oh my God. I'm like, how did they know I was here? It was so weird, you know? How would they know that you're at a freaking nail salon? I know, I don't know. Somebody must have called. I don't know. But it, they saw me, yeah. It was like I had no makeup on, so I hope I, I don't know if those pictures came out. I, I hope so I look good. Seen anything. I like. I've <laughs> oh just wait, been... and I had Namaste bitches on from head to. I had I had the t-shirt. 
I had the sweatpants on. So I hope those pictures got out there. Yeah. Well, then let's get those pictures circulating. Know, so let's, yeah. go. let's get some good social media oh, shit going. Yeah. And, and so, yeah. So they, yeah, I had not saying pictures. I'm like, Melissa's going to be so proud that I had it on. I had it on. Yeah. <laughs> After every the season, yes. every scene, yo, did you wear anything? Yes, yes, Melissa, I, I wore it a lot. Yes, I wore it a lot. Yeah, you guys, I need more merch. I've gone through everything already. My yes, sweats, my so, shoes, my hat. Namaste. Oh yeah, and guys, our Namaste bitches account got hacked. Oh, so yeah. yeah, so we have to. We're gonna start oh. up a new Namaste bitches um, Instagram. Yeah, and um. Yeah, it's crazy. We can't get back on. We can't figure out. It's been how many weeks? I mean, yeah, I mean, I see people. We can't figure it out. I mean, Melissa, mine too. Like, there's stuff has been going on with my Instagram. Yeah, it's crazy. People are writing like p- writing messages out there from my Instagram, putting it out there. Yeah, I mean, this is the game. This is the in the world I live in. Listen, I've been living in this world a long time, like 15 years. Yeah, I've been do, been on Thanks. TV for 15 years. So I've seen it all. No, it's not shocking to me. Um, yeah, so that's why. So sorry, babe. Sorry this happened. You just got to ignore the bullshit. Ignore, 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 which you're, you're learning now. You see? I get it. It's just like I have a mouth and I want to say things and like stand up for things, you know, and like say – like it, it, it's, I get it and I know what I need to do. It's just, that's hard for me. Yeah. And, and we did, and we did it right. But that's why people are trying to start trouble between you and I. And now yeah. you see like, yeah, like, look, Louie and I were getting divorced a couple weeks ago. You know, I'm glad you guys aren't getting divorced. Yes. Congratulations. Yeah. So yeah, we're good. We're not getting, di- this week, we're not getting divorced. This week, we're really happy. Well, let me see what happens next week. Okay. Yeah. But this week, at least you're okay. So, and you know what, listen, that's what, Hey, if that's what people want to say, it's okay because that's what sells. That's what you know. These news article, you know, these they they people click. They want to hear about what's going on in my life, so that's oh, why they nice. put out these stories, which is fine. They do it to everyone. They do it to a lot of people. So it's like I'm used to it now. So it's like in one ear out the other. That's why. And now you're gonna get used to it too. I mean, that's the thing with Josh. You don't have that because he's behind the scenes. So you yeah. don't have that really, you know, but I'm sure Josh deals it with his clients that I'm sure. Yes. I'm sure. So I'm sure he like, he knows. So now you have a taste of it because you're attached to Teresa Judice and yeah. people just love going for Teresa Judice. Yes. So, and I, but it was a nice break that it was a nice, like, I'm like, I'm not looking at any, I'm not looking at any shit. I'm just out in the mountains. I can't get service. Like I'm good. I'm just chilling. But like, listen, we know yeah, my how it break is. was uh, being on House of Villains was so amazing, so and, good, and that's when all this was going on, and the people were working overtime, you know, overtime on the internet, like all over the place. Like, it, maybe it's good that you were there then, and you were like secluded, and you couldn't like be on yeah, your phone no, all the time. and it was great. Like, listen, see, see, God is good to me. Happened. He really is. Like, God is really good to me, and. And like came back, I heard about it. I was like, oh, okay, I'm, there's, it's it's like, I'm like, okay, this is, I already know, but at least now you know, you know, this yeah, is what they no. do. They try to hurt anybody that's close to me in my life. Look, they did it to me and my brother. They did it to me and my brother. Look, no more. That's it. Yeah. But really, my brother did it too. And so it takes two to tango. It does right. take two to tango. Um, but that's why sometimes it does take two to tango. Remember that. So that's why now you're aware of it. So you're not going to tangle with me because you get it. You see what they're yeah, doing. No. You, you understand? It's- so that's me meeting with my brother. Like, yeah, people were trying to cause this rift. Then he got into the tangle also. You understand? Yeah. So like, that's the thing. So it takes, and I talk, I could talk about my brother. My brother's my brother. Right? And then I could, that, so I can't get in trouble about talking about my brother. I know. So they can't, they don't come back and say anything. Cause like you said, it's family. Like they don't probably. Yeah, I mean, that's back. my brother. And you know, like that's, yeah. So that's the thing. So there's no, you know, it's ended and, and listen, yeah. I live a more peaceful life. I'm so happy. And, and that's it. And like, and that's the way. You know, everybody's going to make themselves happy, you know, works for them and their family. So, and that's it, you know, so, but you know, now you say, just ignore the outside noise. There's a lot of trolls out there that you've seen and we know who they are. They could, you know, that's what they do. They hide behind computers because that's all they could do. 
They live miserable lives and we know. Amen. Hallelujah, lady. Well, yeah. listen, you guys, we, we know, we didn't know about if we were going to be able to make like me traveling and Teresa traveling. So that's why we just did an Easter break. But I promise Teresa, like we have so many people that were DMing to be on Namaste bitches. Yeah. Next so, week. Yeah. And then we didn't know like the, this was the pickup back week. So next week, I promise, I know we keep saying it next week, we will get back to Namaste bitches and having you guys on. Um, because as we say every week, you guys are the reasons why we do this. Um, so all right, and you. I met Nicki Minaj. I forgot to tell oh, you. Oh, that's right. How was she? Dope. That was yeah. She was awesome. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like um, Jessica. She DM'd her from you know from you know I DM'd her from my account, yeah. and um, yeah, she responded, and she was awesome. Yeah, we got to meet her because Melania was dying to meet her. Melania oh. loves her. Melania. That's Melania's like, Ma, if I meet Nicki Minaj, I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm like, well, that's not a good thing then if you're going to have a heart attack because then I'm not going to have you anymore. So then maybe oh, we shouldn't meet her, you know? That's but awesome. He was like, it was all for Melania and she was like so happy. Yeah. And um, and that was the thing. She, she just got over being sick. Like that. that's another thing. Like it's hard. And now I get it. You know, it's true. Like when you meet someone, it's like you can't be around a lot of it's like these celebrities that are doing concerts totally. to be around a lot of celebrities. I mean, be around a lot of people because people, they could get sick. Totally. And, and then said, it ruins their whole concert. Yeah. And she said she just got over the flu because she was sick, you know? Um, but yeah, That's she was cool. awesome. Her concert was amazing. Yeah. I told you to message her and say, come on. Uh, on our podcast. Yeah, I know. I'm so, I feel bad. Like, I know I got to do that. No, you should be like, I know. I mean, I mean, you? I, I mean, you know what? She went on Potomac's, um, Potomac's reunion. I know. I know. You, so Teresa, I want you to, you DM her to come and meet. Now DM her, say it was the best meeting you. What if like, we would love to have you on Namaste, but who cares? Okay. You always got to take your shot because you never know, right? Yeah, no, Dude. I know. And what if she I says yes? Hate, I just hate to bother people. I'm so not like it's that. Like, I, it's not a bother. Yeah, people like, do it left, right, and center all day long. Like, no, and it was it was so cute. Like she, like she, you know, she was like, you know, I'm just gonna take a group shot because you know, like you know, I just want to. She wanted to be in and out because she don't want to get sick, yeah. you know. And then, um, and then she asked to take a picture of me and my girl. So I was like, that, oh, you know, and that, yeah, that nice. was so sweet. And then she asked to take a picture, you know, then, you know, Jennifer said, can I take one with me and my daughter? And then they took one. And then she said, well, and then she wanted to take a picture with me. And I thought that was so oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. And I that's thought that nice. was really, and then Milani was like, ma, I wanted a picture with her alone. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't even think like no, I was girlfriend, like, you got a picture, just zip it. I know. And like I was like, oh my God. Cause like I'm so not like that. Like, I don't ask for pictures. Like, my cause my yeah. thing is, I don't know, I guess because I'm in it too. Like, I don't know. I don't I hate to bother anybody. And my thing is, like, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I just right. I go with the flow, you know. But yeah. I have to say she was so down to earth. She was amazing. I love, I love people so like that that just are real are just yep. real and and they don't act like who they are and look she is someone you know she's amazing she's she's a, so talented but i love how real she was and um, that was awesome. I there's love a lot like yeah no and i i love that i love people that are like that because i'm like that and you know i would never not be that way you know i would never yeah. act like my nose is up in the air because that's just not who i am you know yeah. so that's and i awesome. love to see that she that. was that way yeah she was awesome so good well, listen, it was a great week, you know, for all, everyone got a little break, Easter break, you're traveling. It's getting warm that. here. It is. Yeah. Good. And it's getting warmer here. So I know. Back, well, I did lay out honey. a few times when I was in LA. So I got a nice tan. I got a nice base. Yeah. So next time you come back, the weather's keeping up for you. So I know. I heard it's going to be in um, the eighties this week. Yeah. yeah it, it's getting warm. I'm like, thank God. I'm I know. Really I know. Uh, well, listen, you guys, thank you. Thank you for, you know, I hope you had an amazing Easter and break and we are so happy to be back. Thank you for, as always, every single Wednesday, tuning in and listening to us. And we will for sure be back next Wednesday and we're getting our Namaste bitches on. 
Yes, two minute bitches. guys. Thank you. Follow me on Instagram and we'll get Namaste bitches. So follow me on Instagram, Teresa Judice, and then we'll get Namaste bitches. We're going to get up a, a new Instagram for that and we'll be posting it. Yeah. We got to get that going. Okay. All right, guys. Then, listen, thank Melissa, you. Where, where can they find you? At Melissa Feaster. And remember, if you want to be on Two Minute Bitches, send me a message and we are going to pick that up next week. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Thank you. Love, love, love. I knew it. Another Herdat Media Production.